YouTube, it's Sarah. I am doing this video because I've been very neglectful of my YouTube lately in the past like a week and a half, maybe more, I'm not even sure. But um, this is what's been consuming all of our time is this wedding and this wedding notebook in particular, getting it back in order, getting everything exactly how I want it because now we're down to the last five months and we have so much left to do and it seems like like five months in that's when you start doing a bulk of everything I'm sorry if this is shaky I'm doing it ah uh, just I don't know I'm holding this so I'm not I do not have this on the mount because I'm having to turn pages and adjust and move and it just did not work sitting on the camera mount so I'm gonna try to do this as helpful as possible or as helpful as non shaky as possible and hopefully I don't make anybody sick so in here you just have a little clip with some notes on it and things that I need to get done. This is, I have 10 dividers for, you know, these are just, these are, um, they're not even real dividers. It's basically an 8.5 by 11 cardstock in a page protector with, let me see if I can get this off, oh my goodness, with this really cool, they like peel off, I'm not going to peel it all the way off because I don't think I'm going to be able to little dividers and they're little pocket dividers and you can stick them onto anything I wanted to stick them onto the page protector that was just you know my thinking obviously you could do it however you wanted to do if you want to stick it right on a piece of paper that's completely up to you so like I said I have 10 and then the first one is important so in the important documents you could essentially keep your contracts I keep my um vendor contact list so as we're going through vendors where um, we are filling them out and then a checklist I got from Real Simple. I'm going to post the link to these on my blog and I will link my blog in the drop down description below but you could um, also feasibly put a calendar in here so if you are calendar minded I'm checklist minded. So if I know that I need to do something and I have a checklist, I'm more apt to do it than on a calendar. I tend to procrastinate more with a calendar. Couldn't tell you why. I'm just weird like that. You can also easily put um, contracts in here. I put my contracts um, in the different dividers as they pertain to the part of the wedding that they were for. So, like my ceremony my ceremony divider. I have my contract for the the site. We are actually doing our ceremony and our reception in the same place. So I just put it in the ceremony portion. Um, let's see. The biggest thing I think with this is ask all of your questions. Like when you go to meet for your site, ask so many questions you guys. Like I asked, I was running down questions for weeks because I just, I wanted to make sure you spend so much money in your wedding, like you definitely want to get everything, and you want to be able to do everything that you want to do. So this was all the contract information, pricing information, any kind of liability or policies that <clears throat> our site has, we wanted to know about them up front and we have the documentation to back it up. These are just some notes I scribbled down for our efficient, so, um, we had talked to him on the phone and he had told us, you know, to work on some stuff. And so that was our homework for the officiant. <clears throat> the next divider is reception. Yeah, reception. And I have different cards for DJs that we've come across. We have not booked a DJ yet, you guys. Like, this has been, like, the most terrible part of the wedding is trying to find a DJ. Everything else has been fine, just the DJ. So, um... I have business cards. This is really cool. This is a floor plan. I'm going to show this last because it's massive and I'm. this is like my favorite thing that has helped me in the wedding planning. This is something that our vendor provided us. Um, our vendor. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess technically they're a vendor. But this is what the site provided us. I'd asked them for a layout sheet and so they provided us one. I made a ton of copies to go through like various different seating scenarios and yeah, so that's been pretty helpful. Um, this is catering information. 
Um, our catering contracts, bar information, different bar types, the different alcohol that they have on site, and catering guidelines. Um, again, with uh, it goes along with the catering and with your site. You want to make sure that some sometimes when you go to a um, a site for your a venue site you want to make sure to be very clear that it's not going to like cost you extra to go with a specific caterer. They may have caterers, so like for us, it was going to be $500 more to go with an outside caterer than to use one that they already contract with. And the one they contracted with was completely fine. The food was amazing, so we had no problem with it. But you want to find out those details before you book. Cake information. Also, this is another thing for me that I feel like saves me and has been saving me is that with the cake, I really had no clue what I wanted. So for me, we had went over a concept. I found one that I liked. <clears throat> I made some tweaks to it. And so it's always helpful, to, helpful for me to keep a picture of the wedding cake I want with, you know, the specifics behind the contract itself or the receipt, like whatever it is. So for me, if I'm on the phone with her, I can visually see it and tell her like, okay, well this is what I wanna change on this. Or if I'm writing it in an email, I have it in front of me so I can give her the best description I possibly can. Um, that's been very helpful. Um, the next one is guests and contacts. Now the contacts end of it would be if you were having a huge bridal party and specific people were in charge of specific duties, this would be a great place to list that with their contact information so you can keep in contact with them and keep in touch to kind of make sure that they're meeting whatever goals you have set for them or maybe that they've set for themselves. But for us, we're not having a huge bridal party. It's my sister. It's his best friend. And um, so we just have the guest list in here and it goes by name, number of guests once we find them out, address, save the date, invite. So I check. I checked the one that I've already done, so if I've sent out the save the date, it's been checked. Um, the invites haven't gone out yet, so I'm not even worried about that. Um, it's higher. For me, I'm a visual. I have to visually see them all together, so as I am deciding on a tire um, and purchasing a tire, I'm printing out a photo, and so then I can lay them all out and make sure, oh yeah, this is going to look great. Um, I haven't done any of the boys stuff yet, so I need to get on that too. Um, photographer. There's nothing in our photographer section. You can see it's empty. Um, I will be putting poses once we talk to the photographer and see what's going to be best for what we're doing in the daylight we're going to have or the night. Um, we're having our wedding at night, so we did, it's going to be talking with the photographer and finding out know what's going to be best and what's going to be best for the lighting that's provided to us. The next section is decor and this is all of the decorations that the venue is providing and the prices and things like that. Um, I have a list of the the centerpieces and what will entail the centerpieces because we are having the wedding. There's divvy dot like that obviously if you were going through a florist to do your centerpiece. This whole binder is mainly geared towards the DIY wedding, and that's definitely what we're doing. So you want to be super organized when you're doing one of these, because otherwise you just forget, and it just makes it really hard. So like for me, I can check off, I can check off when I've gotten something or when I have it already, and you know, can just kind of do it like that, and that way I'm staying on track and I'm staying on top of it. And then this is our wedding invitation and then some other like decor things. Like I said, I'm doing a whole DIY wedding, so everything I'm doing myself. Um, I created these myself as well, so I mean, they're definitely, this is a full-fledged DIY wedding. Um, the next one's miscellaneous. And you can see my light. I apologize for that terrible glare. So this one is going to be like any emails we're getting from people kind of directing us towards specific people it could be if um 
in the miscellaneous. You could also put your um, your take your gifts to the guests. You could put your um, if you're doing a sign-in book or if you're doing a a picture or something like that. It could be your notes and notations for that in the miscellaneous. You could also put. Um, what else could you put? Maybe if you have like a music list and you didn't want to put it in with the reception because my reception section is like filling up like crazy, you could definitely put it in there. We just have the one email in there. My tabs are in here as well, but they're not in there right now because I'm working on them. <clears throat> and then the last one is post wedding. I think this is going to be the most important for me. Is going to be the post wedding and and because. We're going to be doing thank you cards, and we're going to be very specific as to. So I've created a little chart on Excel, and it's gift from whom and thank you letter sent. So we'll track the gift, who sent it, and then check it when we've sent off the thank you the thank you note. Um, so this is the binder as of right now. It's going to become even thicker, and it's going to have even more stuff than what it has now and it's already pretty full. I'm trying to close it and it's not working very well. <clears throat> so this is what's been consuming all my time. I did work on some Father's Day crafts so I do have the video for that. I will post it after I post this one and then hopefully I'll be back on track with you know all of my various things. Um, like I said, moving and wedding has kept me the most busy, and I apologize. I've been uh, like neglecting my YouTube and my crafting, so hopefully we can get back on track and get everything in order. But thank you guys. Bye.